Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazad of Chess Channel and welcome to really one of the greatest positional games that I've seen in my life. Today we'll see the fish, the latest version of Stockfish, playing against another top engine halogen in the beautiful Slav defense game. But this game has really one of the most brilliant positional ideas that I've seen in my life. As I said, in this game you witness a beautiful paralyzing move by Stockfish in which Stockfish will neutralize, paralyze the whole bishop pair of his opponent. Really, really great uh, ideas in the middle game stage and when Stockfish is paralyzing many of her pieces then it strikes with great great tactics. Pay good attention how the fish is in the beginning playing great positional chess but then afterwards really, really monstrous brutal tactical chess. So let's see now what happened with the white pieces. The fish opened with the move d4. Halogen's response was d5. We have c4 the queen's gambit. c6 queen's gambit declined. The slot defense. Knight to f3 knight to f6 and now after move e3 we have now the quiet variation of the slav defense now we have uh, e6 knight to c3 we're now in the main line and now after move a knight from b to d7 here stockfish developed in a normal way here with the move queen to c2 so we have bishop to d6 preparing in some lines of course the breakthrough idea here with the move e5 stockfish continues with normal development bishop to e2 a king side casting king side casting also by stockfish 16 b6 Preparing, of course, in some lines, bishop to b7. Also, bishop to a6 is many times tempting to trade off the light square bishops because the light square bishop of white is perfectly fine. The light square bishop of blacks is not so good. So, in many lines, you're trying maybe even to get rid of your bad piece because here is blocked out by your own pawn structure. Stockfish continues now with a very, very aggressive method with the move e4. Continues simply the pressure here in the central room board. And I would not say that something went wrong here for black because it's a normal idea here by why to break and enter like this it's a common idea it's a playable idea for both sides we have seen here uh, i've seen here for instance a beautiful game in the database here played by anton guijaro uh david anton guijaro against magnus carlson in which magnus carlson destroyed here with the black pieces young christoph duda for instance against sergey karak in one in this particular position with the white pieces. so it's i think a double-edged line because the position now in the center of the board is simply exploding and now both both players have, I think, here great, great winning chances. So, after move e4, knight takes e4 by uh, the halogen engine, knight takes e4, d takes e4, queen to e4, and now bishop to b7, preparing in some lines, of course, c5, rook to b8, maybe c5, opening the long diagonal uh, for the light score bishop, getting the queen into the game. Also, the knight very active here on f6. So, black has a certain flexibility. Although white has, of course, the space advantage now in the center of the board, especially because of this pawn mobility with the C and D pawn. We have a rook to D1 by the fish, placing the rook where already the queen is. If something clears, of course, the queen could be endangered. We have knight to F6, queen to H4, queen to E7, and now comes already, already a critical and beautiful moment of this particular game. Here, Stockfish plays the beautiful move B4 sacrifices the pawn just in order to create madness here on the queen side and what should you do if you play of course um, something like c5 then we'll simply take and we'll get here the spawn advance if you don't react then c5 is going to happen and then your bishop is paralyzed here on light square so what should you do here halogen accepted the challenge and said okay show me what you got i'll take out now uh here um your pawn on b4 but stockfish prepares now already already a dirty tactic with the move bishop to d3 the idea about this move bishop to d3 is for instance if this bishop gets disconnected from the queen with with moves like c5 so this move bishop to d3 is not allowing the move c5 here because if you do that immediately then bishop to h7 is going to happen that's the main tactical goal that we should uh, consider here because if that happens then the game is messed up here uh, the position gets go open in front of the king and uh, black is getting destroyed for sure so what you could do after move bishop to d3 you could maybe uh, here try to move bishop to d6 but the issue is again you get too much pressure the queen and bishop um, activity here is too too much to handle also we have some weaknesses here around the square h7 even if you try maybe to improve um, your position with the move h6 there is even the beautiful tactical possibility with bishop to h6 after g takes h6 queen to h6 you can try now finally maybe to get the bishop into the game but now we deliver a couple of checks we get the knight into the game and even if you try to escape with your king the bishop will come into the game you can always deliver perpetuals if you cannot calculate everything but of course stockfish calculates everything for instance the winning idea here is to place the bishop on c2 now the king has to drop back and now we play a beautiful rook to b1 
rook to b3 and the rook to h3 of course when stockfish plays a rook with then the game is over for sure so you see nothing can work here the, the attack is simply simply too strong uh, many uh, many pieces will participate in the attack so this position is messed up for black for sure so see from bishop to d3 already already tricky idea so we have seen bishop to d6 is not working the um, uh, h6 is not working even if you try here g6 maybe to lock uh, somehow this diagonal as i said when you sometimes block out one bishop then you're opening the position for this other bishop then the bishop comes here on g5 and again you face many many tactical problems you can maybe survive with king to g7 but uh, in long run this is of course completely winning at least i think we can play bishop to h6 or queen to h6 immediately knight to e5 so many many again tactical opportunities here for white so this is not working so that's why after bishop to d3 actually the only move that black can play in order to survive this attack is to play the move h5 and now stockfish plays what is in my opinion the move of the day, the move of this game, this is simply the most beautiful move, I think, of this uh, beautiful, beautiful attack by Stockfish. Stockfish plays the amazing c5 and paralyzes, neutralizes now the whole bishop pair. Really, really wild stuff. Of course, this bishop can maybe come later in the stage, uh, in the later stage of the game into, into the attack somehow. But so far, with this move c5, the bishop, is, uh, the bishop pair is now out of the game is out of the action really really amazing stunning stunning beautiful attacking move here by stockfish 16 for instance what should you do you can of course you play b c5 like um halogen did but now stockfish shows his plan of course plays now the move bishop to g5 and again what should you do if you play here c takes d5 uh, c takes d4 which of course makes sense in the beginning because you are trying of course c5 liberating then at least the long diagonal for the light school bishop this is not working because of this line rook from a to b1 we hit the bishop you play something like c5 and now we get out of the attack look at this this is now crazy tactic that could have uh, happened but uh, unfortunately for the beauty of the game here halogen didn't play um, this particular line look at this after knight to e5 you play something like i don't know rook from a to c8 you're trying maybe even to get the pawn move c4 now there is a beautiful beautiful stunning winning idea maybe just for fun you can pause the video and try to see now an immediate win here for white so white moves and wins the game please try to solve this beautiful beautiful chess puzzle this wasn't played in the game but as i said this was our analysis f of potential c takes d4 as we said rook to b1 c5 knight to e4 rook to c8 and now what would be your continuation in this beautiful attack okay look at this the winning idea is a spectacular knight to g4 really 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 wild stuff what should you do? You play h takes g4, you get this one. Bishop to f6, uh, queen to f6, and then you get checkmate. If you play, of course, knight to g4, it's not working. The queen is lost. So there's simply too much pressure with this idea, knight to g4. The bishop is far away from the action. Uh, look at this, knight to f6, bishop to f6 was going to happen. Here there is a tension, so too many, too many attacking opportunities here for white. So from bishop to g5, we have c4. That's why by uh, halogen, Stockfish continues with bishop to e2, keeps the pressure here against the weak pawn on h5. You can never play, of course, g6, because then we'll simply take out the knight. We have bishop to a5. Here, halogen is desperately trying to get somehow the bishop into the game, but Stockfish continues with their normal plan g4. We have seen there was simply an overload uh, here uh, against the score g4. Nothing can be done. Uh, if you take, of course, here, h takes g4 then again with the same plan knight to e5 and then knight takes g4 is simply winning the game so that's why from g4 we have queen to d6 we have g takes h5 knight to h7 but now bishop to f4 kicks away the queen queen drops back and now stock which is of course not interesting to trade off the queens keeps now many pieces on the board queen to f6 we have rook to uh, b1 hitting the bishop bishop drops back here to b6 covers now the b file but again look at this both of these bishops neutralized really all of game and stockfish continues even the pressure here on the queen side so stockfish is dominating all over the board really really crazy position bishop to a6 by halogen and now a beautiful a5 that paralyzes further the bishop pair look at this if you play bishop to a5 here then of course rook to a1 is simply winning the game both bishops are lined up on the a file you have to step back here after move a5 look at this this bishop gets to d8 but now 
with this idea you have paralyzed you have also uh disconnected your rooks and the rook rook connection is one of the most important things in the middle game stage now you have lost even the privilege of uh the rook connection Stockfish simply played here beautiful beautiful position game now king to h1 Stockfish is announcing even a g file attack here really it's fire all over the board Stockfish creates dynamics all over the board really really stunning attack queen to e7 bishop to d6 there are now many lines what could have happened i really don't want to show now the hit game what happens if that happens if black moves this what should white play because I think we can agree this is a dominating position by Stockfish. Bishop to f6, uh, Bishop to e5, hitting the queen on f6 is also possible. Rook to g1, continuing the pressure on the g file is also possible. So too many, too many tactical opportunities here for white. So queen to e8, Stockfish continues to pressure. You see, Stockfish is not even interested to take out here. The lame rook is thre threatening here to checkmate on g7. We have Bishop to f6, knight to d2. Here, Stockfish will roost the knight is trying to continue the pressure here against the uh, weak square on f6 so king to h8 bishop to f8 now finally stockfish takes out now the piece but now bishop to c4 bishop to c4 knight to c4 here stockfish says i have it enough i gained some uh, uh material i have a good activity okay maybe my king is a little bit um not secured but also black's king is of course not in optimal shape so from this point on stockfish is going into a favorable winning endgame so queen to d8 by uh, halogen we have knight to e5 threatening also fork king to g8 rook to b7 continuing the pressure look at this this is a beautiful attacking flow here by stockfish 16 queen to d4 knight takes f7 queen to d5 another problem queen to g2 save the day and now after queen to h5 f4 by stockfish try, trying of course also to support for the knight in some lines maybe to open also the position in the game we had queen to uh, d5 knight to e5 and after knight to f8 knight to c6 in this particular position the halogen engine resigned there is simply this idea for instance you play something like king to h8 rook takes a7 queen to d5 i don't know rook to c1 is also a beautiful move you can do many many things but in every possible line i think this is completely completely winning here for white so as i said in this particular position the halogen engine resigned crazy brutal spectacular first of all beautiful positional game by stockfish but then afterwards really spectacular attack in my opinion really beautiful beautiful game because it shows also the power of positional play because sometimes you can give up a pawn just in order to deactivate your opponent's pieces and then you have extra time you have extra tempi to coordinate the attacks here stockfish showed everything that we love to see in the chess game really really a beautiful game here but stockfish 16 so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really really enjoyed it a lot if you want to see more brutal spectacular games like this check out our comments the chess games play by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel See you soon with some more videos and what do we say? Chess is the best, of course.